hi. I just wanted to give parents and um, maybe other educators an opportunity to see what I'm doing with Minecraft Education Edition in my classroom. Um, I'm using it primarily with third grade right now. I hope to be able to use it with other grades, but right now I'm just focusing on one grade at a time. Um, show you what my world looks like that I prepared for them. Um, today I had Miss Powell's third grade class, so I'm going to give you an idea of what we're doing. For my introductory world with them, I bring them in, I have them create a circle around me and treat this space just like they would a classroom. And I've created a world where it's daytime all the time, where it's um, a peaceful world so there's not going to be any of those mobs or anything that spawn like creepers or skeletons or anything like that that are in the video game. Um, you do have the option to have those things. I've just chosen not to have them for this particular activity. I've given them a billboard that has a challenge that tells what they're going to do and this is a design world. It's for them to design houses. It's to teach them all the proper keys they need to manipulate inventory, to work in creative mode, to be able to build and construct things, how to break apart things in case they've made a mistake in what they're building. Um, because it's creative mode you can fly, so I'm actually going to fly you around the neighborhood. This is what they built just today. Um, I have C kids once every six days for about 40, the class period is 45 minutes. But getting them in, getting them settled, starting um, the directions, the instructions and things, it, they really only had about 15 minutes in this world total. So they did pretty good for that. I'm going to fly on up. You can see right here we have one student who clearly is going to be building a very large house. Um, I think our neighborhood will use them for all of our neighborhood parties. You can see all the different places where they're building. They're using different materials to build their houses. Um, here we have somebody who's building with fences. I'm not sure how that's going to go. We're going to go in and visit this person's house. Now this particular student has played Minecraft in um, video games and using a computer at home. So they know how to manipulate the materials. You can see they gave themselves some nice little uh, stained glass windows. Uh, Minecraft has stained glass in various different colors. It also has wool blocks, it has clay blocks, um, terracotta, so that you can build different things. If you wanted them to build something besides a physical, oh, they're starting a bedroom. We've talked about um, this being a community, just like the community you live in and the same laws and the same rules apply. So you can't go around and just destroy other people's property because that's against the law. You can't go around and um, just, you know, randomly vandalize anybody's stuff or take anybody's stuff. You have to be respectful. And just like you have order in a classroom, you have to have order in your city. We have to treat our Minecraft worlds as if they were... Oh, look, somebody left a hole. Let's patch that in real quick. You have to leave everything, um, you know, as you found it, just like you would in the real world. You wouldn't destroy things. Somebody over here is building their houses out of slime blocks. Oh, look, they created a huge hole. We definitely have to fill this in because if we don't, somebody's going to fall through and we're never going to find them again. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in for them, keep our students safe. I don't know about building a translucent house. I don't know that I would want people to be able to see me. What I did was I created a barrier. If you see this, there's a red border over here. The students can't cross this border. I can fly across it because I put it into place, 
but when students log in they can't go across this border and that's because Minecraft has infinite worlds and I wanted to be able to make sure I could find everyone in my neighborhood. Now I gave them plenty of space to build in. It goes on for quite some ways. So they're able to build you know in any of their space. I don't know if anybody decided to come out here and be a loner and find their own space. I encouraged them to spread out so that they're not building right on top of each other. I wanted to make sure there was enough room in here for 30 up to 30 students to be able to build. Um, I made sure the, the area was flat so that we just had a nice space to practice. Once they finish their houses and they've built in here and they've um, they're satisfied and comfortable with their building skills and going through the inventory in creative mode because there's a lot I'm going to go into the inventory block just so you can see there's a lot of different things that they can use to build with and design with um, you got your little carpets and different colors and things and all the different terracottas and trees there's lots of stuff they can build and design with once we've successfully built and they feel comfortable with it the next challenge that they're going to do involves another world um, which is an empathy world and I got this off of uh, Minecraft EDU's website I downloaded the world and we're going to use this as part of our STEM Expo. And in this world, they're going to pick a family. They're going to have cards that describe the family. And they're going to pick a family that needs help. And they're going to design a home to fit the, each family's need. And um, they'll have little title cards that will explain to them what all the families need. But there are different families who require different stuff, such as the freezing family. Um, it's a family that lives in the Arctic area, and they have a lot of children, and they have a very small place to live, and they need a larger place so that their family can fit comfortably. This Cupid's family right here is a young couple that's about to have a child, and so they want to have an expanding home so that they can do that. Um, the Cramp family is a family of adult siblings. Um, there's two girls and four boys and their um, parents just died in an accident and so they're um, asking our home designers, our teams, to build a home that gives them enough private space because they are adults but also has a common area to where they can still eat di family dinners together and things like that and it gives them examples of um, hobbies for all the different people there like some people like fishing some people want to sit on a porch and watch the sunset so it gives them a chance the family uh, the children a chance to design something for those people and it helps to show empathy um, and understanding for other people's needs and desires so that they can build something just for them. That's going to be our end project once they feel a little more comfortable. So um, that's what I'm doing in Minecraft right now with third grade and I'm pretty excited with how well it's going. So thank you for watching.